Hello everyone, uh, I'm Prat Mogay. I run strategy and marketing for IBM Netiza. I'm very pleased to have here with me Brian Hess, uh, who's the principal mathematician at Netiza. This week we are celebrating Bayes. That's right. Um, so, uh, as a mathematician, sort of what are your thoughts on Bayes and, and sort of the connection between Bayes to things we are doing nowadays with analytics and data mining? One of the things about Bayes that I think is really interesting is the, the way in which he's sort of got a health, he caused a sort of healthy rivalry in the statistics world, which is good for pushing each other, the, the frequentists and the Bayesians, to really approach new problems in different ways. And so that healthy rivalry, I think, has really pushed forward analytics quite a long way. Um, in, in terms of bringing it in specifically in the data mining and Natiza world, uh, there's a number of really interesting things that have fallen out of that, and, and one of them that we have included in the Natiza analytics is this naive Bayes classifier, which is a simple... Wait a minute, I just want to make sure I heard you right. You said naive Bayes? Is, is that Bayes for people who don't know better? No, it's it, the naive is basically to make some simple assumptions about the world so that the math actually is easier to compute. So okay. you get into this, you struggle a little bit with the computational math that if you can't calculate it, it's really no good to anyone. Uh, so some simple assumptions uh, in the data or in the, in the model uh, make it so that you can combine it to calculate it. And so Naive Bayes is one that's been very uh, useful in text analytics, uh, makes some simple assumptions about how the words impact whether or not uh, the, the document is you know, good sentiment or bad sentiment, mm -hmm. is spam or not spam. Uh, but the model basically has nothing to do with whether or not the words are near each other um, or before or after each other, but just the fact that they're both in the same document. So a document that had two words like um, um, Viagra or, 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 or you know, uh, pornography, I guess, pornographic words, if they just exist, the two words make it a lot more certain than one word, for example. That, Is that sort of the... That it's spam? Yeah, that it's spam that, that's right. And, and you can get into words that sort of talk about, um, I can understand uh, from a sentiment side that if I see my brand and really negative that's words, right. that's going to pull the, the, the sentiment down. The weight down. That's okay. right. Um, the, the nice benefit, especially in the TISA, is that Naive Bayes really does involve a lot of counting and summing, and that's really, can, really amenable to the data warehousing right. appliance. And so we, we, we targeted that as one of the algorithms to offer uh, because, because of that capability, yeah. because it's really well suited to us. Uh, and it's, been, it's shown, like I said, very, very good performance on, on text analytics, uh, be it sentiment or spam or, or what have you. That's great. Well, thank you. Uh, so I think in, in summary, you know, this was a great talk. Uh, you know, for all the database practitioners, uh, I, I really welcome them to come and learn about the world of analytics, uh, particularly with Netiz Analytics. We've spent a lot of time trying to figure out how to simplify and demystify analytics. And, and I guess we have a lot to thank Bayes for, for helping uh, sort of the, the probability theory field move it closer to data mining. Thank you again. My pleasure.